Christine, it's great to come down here and talk about the real estate market right now. I know it's a busy time for you, so thank you for making the time. But I have a couple of questions about how things are going in the real estate market. I want to talk about Bay Area buyers. Absolutely. I want to definitely talk about a lot of the internet ads that we're seeing oh, for, for those programs right now. Um, so yeah, we'll get in the studio and we'll talk about yeah. all of that. Well, that'll be fun. Tom, it's so good to see you. Thank you Great for coming to by you. today. So talk to me about how the real estate market is doing right now. Right now, the real estate market is phenomenal. It's really hot. Of course, with the interest rates just recently being reduced and the federal government has locked in the rates for the rest of the year, we won't see any rate increases. So because of that, the buyer activity is really, really high right now. And it's also a great time to sell. A lot of sellers that are pricing their homes properly, they're getting, we're getting multiple offers and they're selling within a week. Yeah. So it's really good right now. It's I was fun. reading an article about how the time between March and like the end of summer is like the high time, right? In real estate. Absolutely. What about the Bay Area buyer? Is this the prime time for them to be coming into the market? Right now we're seeing a lot of Bay Area buyers because the market is still, it's really strong in the Bay Area and a lot of them want to move up to the local region here in Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado County. Um, so we're seeing a lot of Bay Area buyers. So we have a specific marketing program where we can target market Bay Area buyers and we're seeing a lot of success and a lot of sales to the Bay Area buyers. It's really exciting and i bet a lot of them bring cash right so it's right. even better yeah they sell their home it's about half of the size of what you could buy here and really buy a great property and pay off their debt and um, simplify their life Fantastic. so it's great well i know that you um, offer all of these guarantees your guaranteed purchase program talk to me about that because i think that's not something you see ever what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of internet buyers, a lot of these national buyers that are basically it's Wall Street money, it's overshore money, and they're making offers on property. And um, I would just really warn sellers to really look very closely at the fine print. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, service charges, you know, anywhere from six to eight percent. And in most cases, the seller is not really getting what they deserve for their property. So um, I would just be careful. Yeah, definitely, that. because you want to deal with someone that you can look in the face, shake his hand, <laughs> <laughs> and right. that you know is on your side. Something I've got to ask you about. You're seeing a bunch of these ads that are coming out now saying that you can get these guaranteed prices from your home online if you just uh, go online. People are used to buying things online right now. Uh, what have you found with some of these companies coming into the market? Well, I would just caution any seller to really be careful because a lot of these internet buyer companies are, it's basically Wall Street funds and it's offshore money and they're just looking to buy homes and to flip them and to make a profit. And so what I suggest any seller is to have a trusted advisor come and do a needs analysis. Do you want a quick sale or would you like to get top dollar and allow the market to determine the price that you can get. Plus with these instant buyers, they call them iBuyers, there's a lot of um, hidden costs, there's service charges, which are anywhere from six to 8%, um, plus there's repair costs, cost, and most sellers don't really receive the same amount that they would receive as opposed to if they were to put their home on the market. You know, there is something to be said too about personal service, to be able to call someone and be able to reach them any time of day or night if you have a question, if you have a concern, if you need some additional analysis. I mean, that's something that your firm offers. You know, real estate is an extremely complex, difficult, emotional transaction. And plus there's thousands of dollars that's being negotiated on every single transaction. So. Um, we're able to help sellers through this entire process so they can push the easy button and receive the highest amount th for their home in the shortest amount of time. So I, uh, for a while on the radio, I've been talking about your guaranteed sale program at a price and a deadline that you agree to or he'll buy it. I think I've said that a lot over the last few months. Tell us about that guarantee program. Basically, um, I will sit, you know, meet with a seller, sit down with them, and we'll agree upon a price and a deadline. 
And if the home is not sold within that deadline, I'll buy it. It's a simple transaction and a lot of sellers really need to have a guarantee that if their home isn't sold, then they will have a cash offer so they can move on with their life, whether they want to um, move out of state or whether they want to buy a new home. Okay, so how are you able to do that? <laughs> okay, well, I just, it's a cash offer. I just make them an offer. It's all cash, it's as is, and very simple. Okay, but it's also your marketing. That's Absolutely. definitely true because yeah. he has the best marketing and is able to often sell homes at or above asking price. Let's talk about a couple of your clients that you've been able to do this for lately. Sure. There was a couple that had a home in Lincoln and they actually um, received an offer from a national internet buyer and they called me and they wanted to know, we received this offer um, and we really need some advice, what should we do? So I sat down with them, we went over the agreement. Come to find out, they really were not making a fair offer and I was able to make an offer, purchase their home from them. Mm -hmm. um, it was all cash, as is, and then they could, they could move and it was very simple. A lot of sellers don't want to go through the problems or they don't want to do the repairs, fixing it up have the open houses, do all of those things. They just want to sell and so right. I can help them out. Move on with their life. I have a question because our real estate market is in flux right now. We have a lot of people moving out of state and we've got Bay Area buyers trying to get up to Sacramento. You have a program that has addressed both and Lofton and Jennifer recently took advantage of that. Lofton and Jennifer really wanted to move out of state so they could simplify their life and they really wanted to maximize the value of their home. They had a beautiful home on some acreage. So I have a specific program where I target market Bay Area buyers and um, facilitate a sale. And we were able to find a Bay Area buyer. They purchased the home. It was all cash as is. We were able to, we got multiple offers. They received more than the list price and they were able to sell move to Texas. When anyone does want to move out of state, we have a five-step process to help them with moving out of state and it's what a big transition. Like. Oh, it is. And those Bay Area buyers, they are bringing cash. They are. Right. We oh, like that. Excellent. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Call the agent I'd qualified to sell my home. Tom Dakes.